everybody, welcome to another, uh, another edition of James Jam. I'm Jane. This is my jam. It is just a dreary, snowy, ucky mess outside. And I am just, I feel like that's what's going on inside then too because of it. I'm tired and yeah. But I have uh, another unboxing for you today. Actually, from two different companies. Um, but I'm going to start here. I kind of go in waves with this company. Um, it, <laughs> I can see my cameraman is going off in the direction. I, um, not too long ago, um, <clears throat> revealed my Portland Leather Goods Cabo, um, Bobble. <clears throat> sorry, Cabo, um, mini crossbody and was looking at some other items on the site and decided to buy a couple other things. So I thought I'd show you today. Um, I did un I did already obviously unbox this. One of the items I got here was this little um, <coughs> fortune cookie, they call it. It looks like one. Yeah, and I believe this is in the color beluga. Um, it's like, like a whale. A, yeah, it's like a gray. And I just really, really like these. Um, so what was your fortune? <coughs> I forgot what it said. Um, sometimes you can get little prizes in it. I didn't get a prize. I just got a nice fortune. That no, I don't remember what it said. But um, I didn't have anything in this leather, and I didn't have any of these yet. So I decided to get one. And what is new buck leather? This is so it's it's almost like a suede to me. And this is my absolute favorite leather by them. <coughs> Sorry. So furball. And that's what it feels like. Yeah. So I did get this, and then um, got another little, as they call them. I wanted one of these, and I thought this was really cool. This is in the color pearl. It's not chopsticks. No. It's a wonton. It's just a little birdie. Oh, okay. And it's got a keychain, and this actually does open. So if you wanted to, you could probably put like two ibuprofens in here. Or um, a, a stick of gum if it's trident. <laughs> um, right. Or maybe 50 cents. Or a chiclet. But I thought it'd be fun for a bag charm. I've never been big into bag charms, as you've probably seen. Um, I think I started getting a little more interested, though, when for Christmas, um, Autumn got me the awesome mint Portland leather goods crossbody. And it came with a little puff she put on it. And ever since then, I kind of been into um, bag charms and trying to find ones that I liked um, to go on some of my bags. So I picked up a few from uh, Portland leather. And this one, um, I don't have anything in this color, the pearl. It's kind of an iridescent color. Um, I'm telling the truth, right? Yes. Um, I don't have anything in there. And so I got this. I like the little birds. I probably want more, but I want to see how they look on bags first. So I got that. Do they come with nests? No. Uh, then I got this. And this I got because um, I just love buying these. I didn't have this color. You know me. I want one of every color. Mm -hmm. And so I got this. And it's another one of my... Oh, well, I thought it was like a new buck, but it's not. Um, this is actually in the color pear. And it's one of their small journals. This is the smallest size. When you get them, um, they always come with a little notebook inside. And you never know if you're going to get lined or unlined. Most of mine are unlined. So this one's lined. Is that college is or nice. wide? Um, I'm going to go with wide. Okay. It looks like wide. So this is the um, color, I'm sorry, did I say pear? It's you the, did. It's an Anjou or Anjou, Anjou. like the pear. Bless you. But yeah, so um, I thought this was really neat. I kind of like some of the pull-up and stuff here. But Does it smell like leather or pear? Leather. Okay. Definitely leather. So I got that, which is awesome. I like just like the color. So got that. And lastly, I got a bag. This it, this is called a the round crossbody, and um, I wanted it because number one it went crossbody, and number two I've been waiting and waiting to get something in this color, and I finally decided to get it, and I got Dakota. So this again is a new buck leather, 
Is that a canteen? And this is, it looks like one, but it's a crossbody bag. And then um, strap out here and it's supposed to go crossbody on you. Um, it does. It goes kind of like this and then can wear it right here. He's trying really hard not to show my pants because I have pajama pants on today. Um, and um, so, so you could put your Sony Discman in there. So, right. I just thought this was really cool because I've been looking for a, a bag. I bought, it's called the belt bag, crossbody belt bag is what it's called. And I bought their other cross, or their one of their other belt bags and I sold it because um the strap was super short. So this time I got this nice long one and I love it. I love the color Dakota. It did not disappoint. It's kind of a... Uh, uh, well, again, it's a new buck brown, but it's got some like yellow in it. And I just think it's really, really pretty. So is that north or south? I don't think it matters. Oh, so I may at some point get um, another one, something in this because I really like it. And this has a slip cover. I mean, a slip pocket in front. And then the inside is just stuff. And as with all Portland leather good bags, their interior is just the raw side of the leather. And this actually does have another big slip pocket in it. So I am a big fan of this. I thought it'd be perfect for vacation and stuff to put everything in it and then it's hands-free, which I like. So the last thing I got was um, from a brand I don't have a lot from. Um, it's from Kirk Geiger. Um, right now, I only have two Kirk Geiger items. One is a wallet on chain that is um, rainbow colored and I have not shown it in a while and I keep it in a drawer so nothing happens to it. And the other item I have was a beach bag that I showed quite a while ago. I don't have a lot from him, but, and I'm going to be a hundred percent honest. One of the reasons is that leather bag that I got smells really weird. And so, um, I like it cause it's cute, but it smells weird. Um, the beach bag though, doesn't smell. And I really like that one. And so Kirk Geiger is pretty cool. They, they run a lot of specials. They do a lot of, um, things like they're, Lot, par portions of their sales goes to other things and um I'm when I bought the beach bag I signed up for their free club and for my birthday they sent me a gift card for or not a gift card a credit for $30 for anything on the site so I thought well I'll take a look for $30 and and everything on their site is free shipping so I knew um that it, I didn't have to worry about shipping and I started browsing their keychains, and the keychains were only about $45. So um, I got one keychain for $15, basically, with my credit. And I'll show you it. First off, the, I like the box. I think the box is cool. Kind of looks like a eyeshadow palette, but it's I like boxes. They're kind of fun to put stuff in. So, you know, like what comes in them. But no, um, and um, here is the keychain I got. I thought it would go with a lot of different bags. That is the keychain that I got. It's sparkly. I have not taken it out of here yet. So it looks... It's like a piece of candy. looks like that. And then I like the back too. It's that aqua color. So it's kind of like having two. You could put it this way on a bag or this way. And that does have the little head on it there too. But yeah. I got this keychain. So with how much it would go with, because like I really have a lot of maroon colored or, you know, hot pink colored bags. Like I thought that would be cute together. And I have some other bags that this side would go good with. And so that's what I got. So with my $30 money, I got that. I paid $15 and I'm definitely okay paying $15 for a keychain that'll go with a lot of my bags. So that's what I have for you for today. Um, and, uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope our weather, weather gets better. Cause I'm telling you, this is really throwing me off. Um, I think there's a lot of bad weather going on today. So you probably can relate. I heard some places are getting tornadoes and we're just getting snow again. Um, it doesn't ever seem to want to stay, but it doesn't want to stay away either. Our chickens, because I have chickens, are not happy. They do not like it when it snows. So um, they're ornery girls. And um, yeah, um, so I think that's all I have to say today. Um, if you haven't already found me, I'm also on Instagram. You can find me there at James Jam as well. It's J-A-M-E underscore S underscore Jam. 
Um, I usually post there about once a week. I do, in the beginning of the week, I always do a, um, the bag of the week and what fits in it and um, how it fits. So I'll usually have a couple different shots. I usually do a reel. Um, occasionally I put some other snapshots in there lately. I've been doing some of my bags, like what, I, how I style them with what I'm wearing. Um, so you'll find that content on YouTube here. I put out videos usually twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. If you're not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. If you did subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. And you can also hit the bell notification. Let's you know when I put out videos and, um, I have a few more unboxings or reveals coming up. And, um, what? <laughs> you've been pretty quiet most of this time. So, yeah, I know there's just always something. Mm. A lot of people are going on their no buys and low buys and I'm just When's like, that coming for you? Right. Yeah. And I'm, I'm always on a no, no buying. It, double negative makes pop. I know. So, this um, isn't math. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a few fun things coming up for you as well. Um, and, uh, a collab, I think. And yeah, just a lot of fun stuff. So stick around or come back. I really appreciate it. And until next time, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Do you know what the word is? What? Bird, bird, bird. Oh, the bird is a word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is a word. <laughs>